my ice is already melted. It's so hot out here. But I wanted you to have a nice background, so we're in the garage, even though it's a little over 80 degrees. So last week, I told you all about my rain riding challenge and what that was like. Basically, anytime it was raining, leaving my house and going out for a ride. Time for a ride! As long as it wasn't like right in the middle of a Zoom meeting or something, but which happened multiple times. It was very irritating. Basically, to just ride in the rain as much as possible and learn how to do it well, how to get comfortable on the wet roads, and how to have a good system in place for keeping myself dry. Previously, I would try to avoid rain rides and sometimes I would get stuck in it and it was always a surprise and a moment of crossing my fingers. But I figured if I just made myself do it enough times, strategically planning to learn from it, then it wouldn't be something that I was always like, <sighs> I hope this goes well. If I could just do it and learn and it'll just be another, another day to ride. So that's kind of how I wanted rain riding to be for me. The marketing director at Triumph told me how in the UK it rains a lot and he would still see a ton of motorcyclists on the road. Here in the US when it's raining you usually don't see a lot of motorcyclists anymore. And he was saying that in some places where it rains a lot, if you don't ride in the rain, you don't get to ride. I just want to diminish the times that I don't ride. Because the more I get to ride, the better mood I'm in, the more productive I am, the better attitude I have, the more fun I am to be around for Cody, and the more energy I have. So I think I got some pretty good systems in place for staying dry, staying visible. So I will tell you everything that I use to do that. First thing I knew I needed was a rain suit. I really wanted to know if one piece or two piece, if one was better than the other. Uh, so I decided to just try it and I got both. I got a Joe Rocket two-piece rain suit and a Speedy one-piece suit. So with these summer rain rides, I could not get all the rain riding that I wanted. I really wanted to ride in some torrential downpours that lasted for hours, but these summer rain rides, they just come and go so fast. Keep in mind, the testing of these suits is probably at most about 40 minutes of rain riding. So if I ever get to ride in more rain than that, I'll leave a note in the description next to all the links. But at the end of the day, I really didn't notice much of a difference between the two and one piece as far as keeping me dry. What I liked about the one piece I got more was visibility. I mean, you, I mean, you look like a highlighter. So that was my favorite part about that. I guess the two piece is more versatile. Actually, if it's a really hot summer ride, it is kind of nice to just let yourself get wet. <laughs> it's very refreshing. So, of course, that was a con with the rain suits, is, is they can get really hot. In the middle of the rain, the temperature usually drops a lot, so it wasn't hot while riding, but it was hot once standing still. I mean, it's like a sauna suit. I guess one bonus, um, I don't really know what this is. Let me just grab it. I, ha I had it there because it was drying from my last rain ride. <gasps> So I'm not sure what this is for, but on the back of the suit, there's like this extra fabric, which I kept putting over my bun that would stick out of the back of my helmet. And the nice part about that is it helped keep my bun dry because if I was still commuting into the office and I, was, I would like to not get to work with wet hair, but I don't think that's what that was made for. So it wasn't foolproof. I did just get a high tail. That's not what they're made for, but I bet just because your hair is tucked under and away, I bet that would keep it pretty dry. So once I can get a rain ride in with that, with that on, I will update the description down below and let you all know if that worked. But that was the one thing I couldn't figure out to keep dry was my, was my hair. Not the biggest deal. And I'm sure most of you watching probably don't have that problem, but some of you do. <laughs> the suit was the only waterproof thing I started out with. Revzilla sent me some gloves and boots that they recommend for waterproof because it has Gore-Tex. I just posted on Instagram asking everyone to tell me any of their rain riding tips or gear tips. And one thing a lot of you said was that if it isn't Gore-Tex, it's not waterproof. So 
my gloves are Gore-Tex and the only thing though, it's hard to find waterproof gloves that are very thin. So these were warm and as soon as the sky opened up, it would get almost too warm. But while the rain is falling, these are, these aren't too warm. These gloves also have this like windshield wiper on the finger, which I thought was pretty cool, but it doesn't really work that much different than any gloves wiping off water. They definitely kept my hands dry, so that was nice. One thing I did notice was I had to make sure I got the sleeves of the rain suit over the gauntlet because on one ride I didn't do that and capillary action, if you remember middle school science class, or elementary, I don't even remember. The liner got wet and with fabric and water that creeps up and eventually it was like my whole hand was wet even though, yeah, so you gotta make sure you cover the gauntlet and that's how that'll stay dry. The very first time I tried rain riding intentionally this year, I think the, the I didn't actually have water, I had water resistant gear, that was just my fall gear, so it wasn't waterproof. I think water resistant is just like for a drizzle for like 20 or 30 minutes. Yeah, I definitely don't recommend using water resistant gear. The, the con of using just your summer gloves, I mean, besides the fact of having wet hands and having to put the gloves back on when they're wet is, is really awkward. The leather will, will stay in your hands and it's kind of hard to get out. So if you are going to work and you're riding in the rain wearing some summer gloves, just know that if you have a meeting with your, your CEO, you might be a little bit self-conscious. So that water resistant gear did not work. I was, my torso was pretty wet. Um, the pants, my legs themselves weren't wet, but it's, I guess everything like in the seams pooled up. So I had a major case of swamp, but a lot of water did end up in my boots. Once I had the rain suit going over the boots and most of the boots were pretty much covered, my feet stayed pretty dry even with um, really old boots that didn't necessarily have Gore-Tex. Um, they were the Guernie Rosé boots. Did, I did want to get some new boots, so Revzilla sended me ones that were just like them, but had Gore-Tex line. After that, I had no issues with my feet staying dry. Just after recording this video, I was returning the Z400 and got caught in the rain without any rain gear, and I still can attest to those boots being very waterproof, even without the rain suit over them. Ah! As far as visibility goes, this is something that I originally got for night riding, but it works so well and it's so bright that I've just been using it all the time. And that's my helmet light. I think the, techno the technology is called accelerometer. So it's wire free and it'll light up whenever you slow down, whether your engine braking or just slowing down with speed or braking. So I actually use that now all the time, not just for night or rain riding when I want to stay visible. I'll show you how sensitive that helmet light actually is. <laughs> See? The rain suits themselves had either the accents on the two piece or the one piece looking like a banana. I love that so much. I mean, who is not going to see you looking like that? I mean, how ridiculous do I look? I loved it. Oh, and by the way, if you want to see my night, my similar challenge to this, but for night riding, you can click on this card right over here. And I also made a video of kind of similar to this all about commuting. I'm making myself go, making myself commute on my bike so that I can get good at it, get used to it. And then after that, decide whether or not I wanted to keep doing it. Uh, spoiler alert, I did decide to keep doing it. So I'll link to that commuting video right over here in this card. And by the way, this is not my bike. I have a Triumph Street Triple R. I will have a review on this Z400 soon. Jay, thank you so much for lending me your bike so that I wasn't bikeless while mine is getting serviced. Bikes getting serviced during the pandemic is rough. I mean, it's been there two weeks. We're still waiting on parts. They haven't even shipped. Oh, so annoying. Another thing to remember is that when the rain first starts coming, that's when the roads are oh, most slick. Uh, the first like 20 minutes or so, I forget why, I guess the oil's coming up from the road. Make sure your road strategy is on point, keeping like four second following distance from cars. If someone's on your tail, just get out of the way and let them get away from you. All that stuff to make sure you stay safe and stay alive because your mama cares about your life, I care about your life, 
and I will see you in the next one.